Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, February the 10th. The year is 2023. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap-up. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. So let's take a quick look at the weekly. You can see we're 21 pips above the weekly open. A quick look at the dashboard shows that all the weekly open gaps have filled. We're 90 pips off the weekly low and 143 off the weekly high. If we zoom out to the monthly, you can see we've got a red month. Uh, we had four green months in a row, but now we're red. And we're right at the Psycho 50 uh, level here. Um, so we'll see how price reacts uh, around that level. And so far, this month is an inside bar. Notice we came back into the opening range for the year and for the week. We're way outside the opening range for the month. And we just cracked that 50 level. We're now down into the launch pad. Taking a look, we're also 40 pips below the yearly low. I'm sorry, before below the yearly open. And the yearly opens at 2089, 1.2089, at least on, on this particular broker. And we had an inside bar six weeks ago. Notice we went above it. Now we're back inside of it. Notice we also cracked the uh, yesterday's low here. 90 pips of range, you can see a couple pounds pair are over 200. The uh, dollar yen's over 200. We've got, looks like more pairs over 100 than not. The uh, buy zone, you can see here we've crisscrossed above that daily open. In fact, we did it a couple times this morning. It came up, it hit the buy zone, didn't come out of it, closed below told you to take the short. Here we had a crisscross above that daily open notice. Here we had, um, once we crossed below it here, we uh, opened above it once, but then we failed to open above it, at least on the H1 ever since. Green rats, get ready to feast. You can see the range is definitely large enough. So we just have to wait for a trigger to go long and come out of that green rat zone. The pivot trading plan told us to short near the pivot. The Bambino flex indicator also indicated a short. So there you have it. And in the past few hours, we did come up to the pivot. And if you would have went short, you'd be up 73 pips at the moment. Not bad. We took out today's pivot. So we only have one missed pivot this year up here at 2282. The rest are from 2022 and there's one left over from uh, 2021. On the weekly, we took out the weekly pivot and we've taken out the monthly pivot. We are uh, coming out of the lower wick zone from yesterday's daily candle here. We're right here at that 50 psychological. There's this huge return bar here that looks like needs to get zeroed out, possibly, and then price will launch. For the week, 233 pips of uh, range which puts us at the 25 percentile. Once again, underperforming here. Last week was a 
above the 50 percentile but you can see here out of the last 12 weeks underperforming weekly range we didn't break the top but we broke the low by 89 pips anybody taking the previous week's uh wick zone or uh high low breakout High minus close 142 at the moment and close minus low is 90. High minus open for the um, weekly buy zone traders here or the weekly crossover 164. Open minus low 69. And you can see we're crawling out of that launch pad. Looking at the uh, price action, a simple chart here. Uh, you can see we uh, opened here. We crisscrossed, we went down, crisscross, and a little spike up, creating, a looks like a return bar. You can see price came down and is now coming back up. And you can see between here and here, it's creating an imbalance. And we'll see what happens. Notice the uh, range on the M1 candle is really low. Last range on the uh, M30 candles. You can see we dropped below 20 for the past three hours. We had some huge ones. If you look at H1, you can see here definitely you can trade the Walmart lines or the Walmart, yeah, the Walmart lines. So you can see here it broke above 60, barely broke below 50. And you can, once again, there's that daily low, previous H1 low. Higher low, lower high. You can see here we had a trigger at 50. That would have been good for three pips if you were quick enough. Notice the uh, kind of a wide spread here. So depending on your broker, if you're playing, if you're trading spread or if you're trading with spread plus commission, uh, it really determines where you enter, which. But some of these methods, especially these scalping for a couple of pips, these types of spreads really aren't conducive to that type of trading. So, for example, Walmart has a spread of maybe 0.3, and he pays a commission of 0.3, and I'm pretty much the same on my other account. And you can see here with the one balls and the three ball, price is uh, pretty much putting in a zone. It looks like it wants to go lower coming out of that previous day's low right here back down putting in a new three ball it came back down out of that lower wick zone Let's see, uh, the daily range here, we've got 91 pips. So we're back into the launch pad. And so you can see here, if you were on this broker, the trigger, you would have been in that trade already. So point being, you have to, you know, match your uh, method. You have to use the right tools for the job, too. And the broker is a tool, if you think about it, because you get to select which broker you use.
So you see here, if you would have taken that trade at 50, price itself never even got there because the ask was there. And this is the bid. So you can see here, it's putting in a new lower high. But because of the spread, you don't have an opportunity to get in at that price. This is what happens when you use a uh, spread type broker as opposed to an ECN. Range for the month, 450. I'm sorry, 440. What am I thinking? And if we take a look at the um, ATR for the month, it's at 639. So we still have a couple hundred pips to go, it looks like, one way or the other. But we all, we've already beaten... Um, February from last year and February actually from the past three years, 20, past four or five years, actually. So a lot of range, or the ATR is higher. So it looks like we should have some more room to move. Then if we take a look at the year-to-date accumulated, you can see we're still at 606. We haven't, because this month so far is an inside bar, so we haven't added to it. But we're still ahead of last year at this time. But looking towards March, it seems like we're going to get some movement looking towards the future there. And so far this year, close minus the year-to-date open as a percentage. You can see now, since we're below, we're down 0.32%. We had closed the month of January up 1.9. So I don't know if, uh, especially I guess for the longer term traders, um, that could be an important statistic. Trade reminder, it's telling us how many pips were below the monthly open. Let's switch over to monthly here. Previous bar was outside bar. We're inside the lower wick zone on the month. Sellers are in control. Below the previous pid, below the pivot. And we've got a lower high, higher low, making us an inside bar. Looking at the weekly, we're above the... Um, Distance to the uh, MA, um, EMA5, which we also call indicator 2, is 99 pips. Price is between the wick zone, so we're in the body of the candle. Sellers, weak control. We're below the mid, below the pivot. Lower high, lower low. So, because we broke through the daily, 37 pips away from the uh, EMA5. We're just slightly above the low. We're below the lower wick zone. Sellers are in strong control. Lower high, lower low, breaking out. So, fellow traders, that kind of wraps it up for the week. Um, I was talking with Walmart and to give you an idea. I don't know if we're going to start it this month. We could probably start it this month. Um, we're thinking um, we're going to take you through a system and a trading plan from the very beginning. Uh, so a lot of because you know everybody says you got to have a trading plan and we've we've done this before but I'm thinking really bare bones from the beginning building a trading plan so you can see um, if there's something that you might be missing um, in your trading plan or something that um, you might want to change in your trading plan so I'm going to wish you a fun and safe weekend I hope you had a profitable week and month so far and when you come back to trading, always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one, over and out.